audible please confirm from your side through chat box voice is audible or not please confirm your side through chat box yes thank you all right uh, this a uh, free online seminar okay the main intention of this free online seminar is uh, to give some importance okay of the data science okay who are really who are looking for okay data science to learn data science right okay really who are, who are looking to build their career in data science okay maybe this session is going to useful for you thank you for attending okay see in this course okay mainly we are going to concentrate on okay what is data science what is data analytics and what is machine learning and what are the technologies that we are going to use for this data science okay these are all the technologies that we are going to discuss in our course right now okay let us start with the introduction for to data science introduction to data science right first in this we are mainly discussing about okay what is a data science first of all okay what is data science who is data scientist who can be a data scientist who can be a data scientist what is the real time process of data science what is the real time process of please uh, uh, vasu uh, please uh, turn off your cam from your side right okay what is the real time uh, process okay real time process of uh, data science real time process of data science please uh, switch off your cams okay next uh, we are going to discuss about who can become a data modern data scientist right modern data scientist and what are the technologies that we are going to use in these data science right what are the technologies that we are going to use in this uh, data science right these are the concepts that we are going to discuss in this seminar right okay what is data science who is data scientist who can be a data scientist what is the real time process of data science and okay what is the modern data science okay scientist who is modern data scientist what are the okay pre requesting knowledge okay he required to become a data science next what are the technologies that we are going to use in this data science right first let us start with what is data science what is data science see whatever the work that we are going to okay work in with the data that complete okay work comes under data science that is from selecting the data onwards for okay uh, defining some insights and knowledge on the data everything comes with a data science see data science is not that much simple like uh, okay databases okay data manipulation just for creating a data or manipulating a data see data science is a okay interdisciplinary field is a inter okay disciplinary field interdisciplinary field means is a combination of okay some mixture of fields right is an interdisciplinary field right in this field it contains okay some statistics statistics data analysis machine learning okay not only this okay we have we are having so many fields like some we are using statistics okay statistics method scientific okay scientific methods we are going to use we are going to use some processes some algorithms okay these are all the fields that we are going to use for data science right we know that it is not a okay it is not belongs to any single okay it is not belongs to any single field or any particular field like uh, okay simply uh, uh, simply okay handling the data and manipulating the data not like databases right it is a okay mixture of that is interdisciplinary fields that is the concept of statistics data analysis okay machine learning okay and uh, they related methods all these are the related methods 
okay in order to understand and analyze the data right for understanding and analyzing the data okay we are using all these tricks right actually this is about data science now okay who who is the data scientist right next is who is data scientist see the person who is having a knowledge on statistics right the person who is having a knowledge on statistics okay that person okay is called okay the role of that person is a statistician okay that person is statistician see actually statistician they will do only statistical analysis right okay see by using by you by having a knowledge on statistics okay they will do manually or they will use some excel sheets okay to do the statistics but okay for data scientist here we require some statistical knowledge and also some computer skills right see for statisticians okay it is very hard to know the knowledge on technologies like r right python okay weka not only this okay some of the tools okay some of the programming languages what we have to do okay on data science right so that's why what we are doing means okay for computer skill people okay for computer skills people okay we are giving that is reverse try okay reverse engineering we are doing okay the person who is having a skills on computer for that okay for that person we are giving some statistical knowledge then okay they can they are a data scientist means what i am saying means okay a person who is having okay knowledge okay a person who is having a knowledge on statistics okay and also a person who is having a knowledge on software skills okay that person is a data scientist that means okay a person a person who is better at statistics who is better at statistics than any software engineer than any software engineer or or again a person a person who is okay better galaxy j7 please uh, uh, turn off your video from your side stop your video All right a person who is better okay at a software engineering a person who is better at software engineering than any other okay than any other statistician okay he is a data scientist that means a person who is better at statistics than any other software engineer or a person who is better at software engineering than any statistician okay he is a data scientist got the point okay that means we require some knowledge on statistics and okay computer skills okay then he is a data scientist who can be a data scientist who can be a data scientist means okay same similarly the person who is having a skills on okay computer and the person who is having some okay knowledge on the mathematics probability and statistics okay and uh, here we required some knowledge on domain also some little bit knowledge on domain also once observe this diagram see here i am taking okay the some of skills of a person okay a person who is having a knowledge on a person who is having a knowledge on observe here okay a person who is having a knowledge on statistics statistical knowledge okay and also a person who is having some okay domain knowledge domain knowledge and the person who is having some knowledge on computer skills computer skills okay then that person can become a okay data scientist getting my point the person who is having okay some knowledge on mathematics probability statistics and also some little bit expertise in the domain and also okay having some computer skills like a programming like a database right like whatever the technologies that we are going to use okay on the technologies okay if, you, if a person is having some skill then that person can become a data scientist right this is about data scientist and one more okay important what is a data science process okay what is the what is what is happened in real time data science process once observe here 
once if you understand this concept okay then you okay maximum okay then you get one clarity about what is data science what is data analysis and what is machine learning right in this data science it contains a multi okay it contains a, okay interdisciplinary field in this interdisciplinary field we are going to cover okay what is data analysis and machine learning right observe here this is a data science process data science process in this data science process right i am taking okay one direct one architecture based on that architecture i am going to explain what is data science okay how the data science okay will starts from where it will starts what are the steps that we have to follow everything i am going to okay explain in this diagram once observe this diagram right this is a completely data science process diagram first okay we have to collect the data first we have to collect the data step by step we have to do some process here after that then we have to do some process and then we have to do some other process and finally okay it is possible okay to do the analysis all right and finally it is possible to do the analysis if that okay if it is not possible okay as per our requirement again we have to do the process all right these are the steps that we have to follow once if you understand about this diagram then you okay then you got okay then you will get some clarity about what is data science what is data analysis what is machine learning right what, what are the steps that we have to follow to do all this process right let us start now now okay first we have to collect the data from real world from real world okay first we have to collect the data from real world after collecting the data okay that data in a format of okay raw data that we call it as a raw data then we have to convert that raw data into data process okay we have to process that data and then okay after processing after processing then we have to clean the data after that then we have to clean the data after cleaning then only it is possible to do the analysis that is data analysis right after doing analysis okay then by using some methods and algorithms okay by using some methods and algorithms okay then we are going to predict some models based on that models we are going to do some data visualization visualization and reporting right and then we are going to release the product finally this is the okay data science process once observe here all of you okay this is very important once if you understand this okay data science real time process what is happening then you get okay some clarity about what is data science what is machine learning what is data analysis right what is the responsibilities of data analyst what is the responsibilities of data okay machine learning engineer that everything we are going to cover in this diagram right first step, we have to collect the data from real world real world see for example okay whatever the data that it contains in databases right whatever the data that it contains in databases the data is in the format of okay tables means whenever it is in a tables okay it is in a rows and columns okay whenever the data contains in rows and columns the data is called a structured data what type of data it is it is a structured data okay whenever we are going to do some analysis on the structured data right okay and at that time okay it is very simple to do but okay sometimes as per our client requirement okay we are going to do some we are going to work on unstructured data for example now okay as per our client requirement i want to do some analysis on iphone 10 okay based on twitter reviews right okay if you collect the reviews from twitter okay at the time of collecting okay the data is in the format of unstructured unstructured means here it is not in a proper format then we have to convert into a structured format means there is no proper uh, customer name okay the message and time everything is in okay one document format that document format we have to make it into a structured data right some of the data may be in semi structured data semi structured data semi structured data means it is a combination of structured data and unstructured data 
means some of the data is in structured and some of the data is in unstructured right as a data scientist right here we have to deal with any type of data not only okay which belongs to databases right it is structured okay only i can do that data okay not like that okay here we have to okay work or deal with any type of data that is that may be a structured or unstructured or semi structured data right that are the steps that we have to follow and anyway we are simply we call it as a raw data that may be a structured unstructured or semi structured that is a raw data after that then we have to do some process that is the next level that is called data process here the data is going to process right what are the steps that we have to do the data process means okay once observe here first we have to okay here we have to do okay what are the three steps that we are done here similarly we have to do some okay similarly we have to do some process here what are the steps that we have to do means first we have to integrate the data from different sources means extract the data for handling first we have to okay extract right that is called integration okay data integration means integrate the data from different sources after integrating the data right then we have to okay select the required data for example there are 100 columns in our data set okay okay in that okay as per our okay <clears throat> as per our analysis okay here we required only some columns okay that columns only you have to select that is called data selection after integrating the data then we have to select the required data and then we have to do some transformations on the data and then we have to do some transformations on that data means transformations means what for example once observe here see once observe here see okay in one source okay in one source data the date of uh, birth format is month month okay uh, some date date year year but in other in other in another source in that data set okay the column is like this year 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 right okay like that okay it is not possible okay to do right it is not possible okay to do that right so what what we have to do means okay it is erased i will open my last session diagram right right this is the last session what i drawn okay now okay this is the complete process okay here what we have to do here okay here what we have to do here we have to do some data integration after integration then we have to do some selection and then okay we have to do some transformation transformation means just doing some transformations like aggregation okay changing making the different formats of data into a single format for example different data words okay year year month month different data set okay they are, uh, formats is there right for doing analysis that we have to make it into a common format okay the, those are all comes under data transformation right that is data integration selection selection and then transformation normalization right normalization means uh, okay making the business data into a statistical model that is called normalization why because in our data sets it contains some different ranges the values are in different ranges these different ranges are not possible to do the analysis okay that we have to that business data that we have to make it into a statistical model whenever we convert it into a statistical model then only it is possible to do the analysis right that means okay for doing process these are the steps that we have to follow getting my point right next okay after the after doing process whenever the data is in process then we have to clean the data what type of data that we have to clean here we have to find any missing data is there any missing data or any duplicate data right not only this any inconsistency data in occurrence data right these are all the okay um, noisy data we have to clean those data okay then only it is possible to do the analysis for example okay at the time of doing analysis just i found one customer ages okay 150 150 okay by using this 150 it is possible to do the analysis okay based on actually okay practically 150 is possible no okay so for that i have to do some cleansing on that by using some methods and techniques i have to cleanse that data some missing data are there okay by missing data it is not possible to possible to do the analysis 
okay for cleansing all these here we use some methods and techniques right after cleansing only it is possible okay to do the analysis after cleansing only it is possible to do the analysis after the okay after cleansing okay what will happen means next we have to okay go for the next step that is called the data analysis first we have to understood the data and then we have to start the analysis on the data first we have to understood okay already we processed the data and already we cleansed the data then it is easy to understand the data and it is possible to do the analysis on that data getting my point right even though after doing all this process okay if you are not satisfied with the data if, you, if the data is having any disturbance in it okay it is not possible to do the proper analysis at that time what we have to do means okay then again we have to send this data for processing that is called data pre-processing data pre-processing again we have to cleanse the data up to satisfaction okay we have to okay this is a cyclic process here data analysis data process data clean after okay after analysis then we have to apply some methods and algorithms okay this is the responsibility of machine learning engineer right this is the responsibility of machine learning engineer these are the responsibility of data analyst okay this okay this responsibility is of data analyst this responsibility of machine learning engineer right here machine learning engineer what will he do means okay he will apply some models and algorithms on the data and then he is going to okay predict one model okay then the machine is going to predict one model okay based on that model okay then we have to visualize the data see clients are not understood the technically or direct data sets okay that we have to okay the data set we are going to make it into a graphical representation in the format of reportings by using some graphical okay charts that is called data visualization right once okay we we okay once we submit the okay visualization graphs to them based on that only they are taking decisions they make the decisions to improve their business right okay by using this visualization graphs only they will make the decisions right and then okay next we will release the data product to the real world then we deploy the product to the real world okay again this product is going to produce the data again this okay data product is going to produce the data based on that data product okay based on that produced data again we have to collect it and then we have to process clean everything see this is a never end process right okay this is a never end process right is a cyclic process right data science process is a, a cyclic process i think all of you understood what is it right data science first we have to collect the real world it may be a structured or unstructured or semi structured and then okay we have to do some process by using some steps okay that is called integration selection okay some like uh, transformation normalization these are the steps that we have to follow and then find okay after processing the data then we have to cleanse the data what type of data that we have to clean some missing data inconsistency data noisy data right duplicate data all type of this data we are going to cleanse by using some methods and techniques and then it is possible to to understand the data and then we analyze the data if it is not possible to analyze then again we have to send to process all right okay after okay after analyzing the data then we have to apply some models and algorithm right to predict the model right then okay at the submission of uh, okay to clients then that the data we are going to convert it into a data visualization that is called a graphical representation right based on this graphical representation reports only they will make decisions to improve their business getting my point and then we are going to deploy that product to the real world again that product is going to produce the data based on the data again we have to collect and handle okay this is never end process it is a cyclic process right this is about data science this is about data science right next next okay now just now we discuss what is data science who is data scientist who can be a data scientist what is the data science process okay and who is the next okay just now we discussed what is data science process next observe well, who is a modern data scientist right see nowadays it is very hard to find the data scientist okay 
now very hard to find but upcoming days in future we can see so many data scientists right see observe here what a see data scientist means just having a knowledge on statistics and okay computer skills okay it is okay but modern data scientist means here we require some okay prerequisiting knowledge and we have some experience based on the experience only we are okay we are going to become data scientist once observe this diagram once observe this diagram see in this diagram right okay data scientist okay is also called as the sexiest job of the 21st century right it is a sexiest job of 21st century right it is a mixture of multidisciplinary skills okay already that we discuss okay uh, here we require some knowledge on mathematics statistics computer science communication and business right finding a data scientist is very hard nowadays right next uh, okay what are the fields okay that we have okay that we required experience means okay these are the four are the important fields that we required experience right now we are going to discuss about what are the knowledge that we required on mathematics and statistics actually what is the difference between statistics and machine learning the difference between statistics my voice is clear my voice is audible please confirm your side through message through message please confirm from your side it is clear yes right okay just now we discussed what is data science who can be a data scientist okay uh, what is the real time process of data scientist okay next uh, modern data scientist right we are discussing about modern data scientist right see for modern data scientist here we required some of the knowledge on mathematics statistics and probability right that is called a machine learning i will explain you what is the difference between statistics and machine learning right next we required okay le 2 uh, is raised your hand from your side right if you have any queries right just go to the chat box okay otherwise okay at the end of the session i will give you permission to okay uh, unmute from your side and then we will discuss right if you have really any queries from your side okay just uh, chat in the chat box okay otherwise in the, at the end of the session okay we are going to discuss okay right now okay see here we require some knowledge on probability statistics and mathematics okay that is called a machine learning right next from programming and database some communication that is for graphical representation and some domain knowledge okay these are the skills that we require once observe this okay mathematics and statistical knowledge in that we require some machine learning language there is no difference between statistics and machine learning both are same okay but the statistics okay by by using some okay manually we do the statistics but if you add that statistics some computer skills then it is called a machine learning only that is the difference right if you add computer skills to the statistics that is called a machine learning right in this machine learning here it contains some okay supervised learning and unsupervised learning okay these are very important if you know this supervised and unsupervised learning okay we can okay then we can extend in any field like artificial intelligence right next some robotics a deep learning in any field which belongs to data science okay we can move right that is about mathematics and statistics next coming to the programming and database right here we require some knowledge on programming and database right in that the main scripting knowledge okay knowledge is required in this course we are going to cover about this python and then we require some statistical computing package that is r okay this r is also we are going to cover and we require some of the database sql and no sql okay some of the programming and database right next okay we required some communication and visualization in this communication and visualization right in this communication and visualization okay once observe here it is a storytelling skills a storytelling skills means okay how that much of simple it is okay for the clients okay just for observing the okay graphical plots they can take the decisions right some okay some knowledge is required but uh, no need to go for any other tools for graphical representation like tableau kiplu some uh, tools are having like reporting tools ssis power bi no need to go to all these tools okay here why because r is having okay r is itself is a powerful visualization tool 
for graphical representation we use r right this r is having lot of packages for doing flats and graphical representations right no need to go for any other and also similarly we require some knowledge on okay domain right some little bit knowledge on domain okay this is about modern data scientist right this is about modern data scientist <clears throat> next okay we are going to discuss one of the important concept okay that is machine learning okay before machine learning what are the technologies that we are going to discuss in this means okay here we are going to discuss some of the technologies that is or python and weka see or python in that or is one of the programming and python is also one of the programming to do the analysis and okay prediction model for machine learning purpose and also we are going to use one weka also this is weka is not any programming okay it is not any functional based also okay it is completely about a tool okay it is a tool okay it is very simple right by using these technologies we are going to use the data science not only this okay by using java also we can do the analysis by using some uh, from amazon there is one amazon machine learning is there sas sas is there right like that we have so many technologies are there anyhow okay r and python nowadays okay it is having so much of demand okay demand and technologies that's why we are going to use r and python right next okay we are going to discuss about <clears throat> next we are going to discuss about machine learning machine learning okay already in okay in the last diagram we observe what is the difference between statistics and machine learning statistics and machine learning i will show one diagram it is uh, okay it is clearly understood better understood right once observe this diagram what is the difference between statistics and machine learning right there is no such difference between statistics and machine learning okay once if you observe this right it is a statistic right for example if it is a statistic right for this if you add okay for that statistics if you add computer skill that is see here for that it is they are adding some frame like a computer skills then it is called a machine learning so many are confusing what is the difference nothing is there right a statistics and machine learning both are same okay but machine learning here we are using some okay observe here here we are using some computer skills for that statistics then it is becoming a okay machine learning computer skills then it is finally it is called a machine learning that's machine learning is very important to all the fields okay for doing analysis for doing prediction for in artificial intelligence deep learning okay neural networks in advanced technologies also okay this stat okay this machine learning plays the main role okay this is the basic for all the advanced technologies okay which, which is like iot is so in iot is we use base in artificial intelligence we use this in deep learning okay we use this machine learning right without machine learning it is not possible right now i will now i will give a, give a clear okay about clear understanding about what is machine learning right coming to this machine learning introduction to the machine learning here first we are going to discuss about what is machine learning first who it is coined right next okay what is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning okay there you get more clarity about machine learning just and okay observe here this machine learning it is also right it is similar to human learning it is similar to human learning how the humans are going to learn right how the humans are going to learn a same way machines are also going to learn in this style right a same way the machines are going to learn right first according to arthur samuel right according to arthur samuel arthur samuel is one of the pioneer in us right okay when he when he is working at ibm in 1960 that is around 1959 to 1960 okay he coined the term okay machine learning okay he is an one of the researcher in ibm in the year 1959 to 60 right at that time he coined the okay machine learning okay he is one of the american pioneer of the field of computer gaming and artificial intelligence right according to arthur samuel right computers okay about what he said okay computers okay the ability 
computers the ability to learn itself okay without any to learn itself without any right explicitly programming explicit programming okay that is about machine learning please uh, uh, switch off your cams visor right okay what is okay what is the machine learning okay here we are giving some ability to the computer right to learn itself okay here we are giving some ability to the computer to learn itself right without any explicit code without any explicit programming that is called machine learning that is called machine learn once observe the difference between traditional programming and machine learning then you get more clarity <coughs> on me okay once observe the, okay the difference between traditional programming and machine learning right traditional programming versus machine learning now observe here see in traditional programming what will happen means okay if you give some okay if you give some input and output to the computer if you give some input and output to the computer then this computer is going to give some okay output where it is it is in traditional programming observe here see here if we give some input and if you give some output right when if you give some input and output the sorry not output okay if you give some input and program then it is going to okay give the out right that is normal or traditional programming where we observe in c c plus plus java okay anyway right here we will give some inputs and also here we are going to give some okay program right based on this inputs and program then it produces the output that is the normal case right that is the normal case but when you observe in machine learning what will happen means first here we have to give some inputs and outputs okay if you give some inputs and output okay what will happen means the machine is going to learn itself the machine is going to learn itself and then it is going to predict the program right if you give inputs if you give inputs and if you give outputs to the system and then system is going to okay predict the program and the system is going to predict the program that program is called predicted predicted output or predictive output okay predicted model got the point the difference okay this is the traditional programming and this is the machine learning okay in traditional programming what will happen means if you give inputs and program then it will produces the output that is the normal case that where we observe in c c++ c sharp java programming languages but when you are when you observe in machine learning here what will happen means right here we have to give some inputs and outputs based on those inputs and outputs okay the system is going to learn itself okay that is the ability that we are going to give as a machine learning engineer right okay based on these inputs and outputs this computer the system is going to learn itself and then it is going to predict one program what is happening in between input and output why it is output for these values and then it is going to predict one model now i will show one example okay but observe carefully here i am taking a value b value and also c value right how many values i am taking a b and c for c here i am giving a is 1 okay b is 2 and c is 3 similarly a is 2 b is 3 and it is 5 and that means a b are the inputs c is the output right a b are the inputs and c is the output okay once observe the input and output okay now i am taking 3 <coughs> 4 then it is 7 right next 4 5 it is 9 4 or 5 it is 9 right now okay now if i ask a question like this what is the output of 9 and 10 what the point see this a and b are the inputs a and b are the inputs see for this system okay for normal traditional programming if you observe if i give a b values as inputs and if i give program also like this okay what is the program here a plus b if i give like this to the traditional programming okay 
okay then what will happen then it will produce as the then it will use the result output right if i give one one two as input if i give a plus b then the output is three that is the normal programming languages will do but machine learning what will happen means first if you give the input this a b are the input right if you give these a b values to the system as inputs and if you give this output also c is the output right if you give the c is also c is also as output then the machine will okay learn as a human how we are going to learn same similarly machine is going to learn what is happening in between a plus b what is happening in between a plus b and why it is uh, okay out why it is what is the result of output right first it will learn and then it will predict by itself the program is a plus b that is the difference between traditional programming and machine learning got the point okay here you have to give the program but in machine learning machine only learn itself as a human and then it is going to produce one okay predictive model that is called a program right that is the main difference between this traditional and uh, machine learning got the point next uh, let us observe one example how okay machine is going to work now i am taking one example in this example in this example i am taking x and y i am taking x value and y value here x is the input and y is the output once observe this diagram all of you not diagram one example here i am taking 1 a 10 <coughs> 2 a 20 3 a 30 4 a 40 right a 5 and then what is the output of that 5 we have to find well, as the humans first what we have to do okay x is input right y is output x is input and y is output as the humans first we have to learn okay how we are going to observe if one is 10 when it is 2 then it is 20 now what is happening in between x to y what is happening in between x to y then we are going to predict okay the y equals to means every time 10 is increasing right every time 10 is increasing okay that's why the relationship between x to y is okay y equals to 10 x y is the y equals to 10 x as a human like this we are going to predict getting my point now automatically we can answer that okay 5 is a 50 5 is a 50 right now okay system also internally it will take some statistical help why because machine learning means itself it is a statistics right okay it will uh, it will take the statistical observations based on the statistical observations the machine is going to okay learn itself and then it is going to predict the program and it is going to predict the program like how y is equal to 10x right for better understanding i am taking one more example one is 14 next two is 18 22 26 27 26 and what is the output of 5 right uh, from your side please answer this from your side please answer this in chat box what is the output of 5 yeah there is good it is 30 Okay, please response from your side. What is the output is? 30. Any more answers from your side? Right. Right. Okay, 30. Okay, Sanjeev, Sahana, right. Very good. It is 30, 30, 30. Right. Very good. Thank you. Right. Now, okay. Now, what is the, okay, as a human, okay, we find the, we find the, okay, there is a relationship between Y to X and then we find every time it is 4 is going to increase. Okay, that's why every time 4 is going to increase, that's why here it is a 30. Very good. It is 30. Now, if I give a value like this, what is the output of 500? Okay, then all of you try to answer for this. All, all of you answer, okay, answer for this. What is the output of 500? Please response. Response from your side. What is the output? All right. See, whenever I change the value, okay, whenever I change the value as a human, see, no answers are coming from your side, okay, 2000 zeros, it is wrong, okay, see, as a human, it will take some time to answer, okay, we are not in a position, okay, to answer this type, okay, when it is simple and, okay, as a humans, we are going to, 
okay understand what is happening in between x and y and then we are going to predict the output right as a human but whenever i change the value right it will take some time or not and that time we are not in a position to answer okay le2 300 is also wrong right now let us understand how the machine is going to okay learn 300 is also wrong vasu okay uh, how okay okay we stop uh, okay answering okay just we will understand how machine is going to learn okay by itself as a human machine is learning right how machine is going to learn itself by using some statistical observations and how it is going to respond how it is going to predict the output of 500 okay once all of you observe here once if you observe carefully about this about this example then you get one clarity about what is the machine learning how the machine is going to learn itself and how it is going to predict the models okay then you get more clarity what my point right once observe here now not a human as a human how it is going to work just observe now okay now i am giving this x as inputs to the system right only these x values only these x values as input and this y values as output when i give input and output what machine will do as per our diagram okay first it will learn what is input what is output what is the relationship between x and y and then it will predict one model after predicting the model then it will answer the 500 what the point right now observe here machine is learning like this one whenever one it is 14 whenever one it is 14 next whenever it is 2 it is 18 means what is happening whenever okay All right okay whenever what is happening here okay whenever x is going to increment by 1 then automatically y is going to increment by 4 that is the machine understood for the second observation after learning this okay what machine is understood means okay machine is understood the okay it is a okay 4 is increment and next again 4 is increment means some constantly 4 is going to increment how the machine is going to work means observe here first machine okay first machine will observe the distances between okay x and y what is the distance between x and y okay first it will took x and y axis okay everything it will work by statistic right okay let us observe how the machine is going to understood right now in the statistics the x values are one two three it is three a four a five like this next uh, y values also 14 18 see everything it will work with, by using statistics only 22 26 30 30 right and then it will find the distance okay see here one whenever one it is, one is there it is 14 whenever 2 it is 18 whenever 3 it is 22 right whenever it is 4 it is 26 whenever it is 5 it is 30 like this it will plot right after that first it will calculate the distance okay what is the distance between okay each observation and then it will make one line okay this line is called a okay what is this line this line is a linear regression this is a linear line observe this in statistics okay we have to learn all this okay in this course we are going to learn everything right now this is a linear regression what is the formula for the linear regression okay y equals to okay mx plus c is the output mx plus c is the output now what is m here what is m here m is a slope what is m m is a slope what is okay no need to worry here okay everything we are going to uh, uh, everything we are going to discuss in our course from basic converse and c is a intercept c is a intercept means is a constant value right what is the slope okay slope means okay uh, it contains one formula in statistics that y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 that is uh, okay 18 minus 14 by 2 minus 1 then what is the output 4 if you observe every observation it is 4 means then the what is the m here what is the slope here 4 next coming to the intercept right what is intercept means okay wherever the line is going to touches to the x okay y axis okay this is the, here it is going to touch this point this point is called a intercept this is constant value here it is 10 okay whenever it is increased 4 means what is the output okay, what is the constant value here it is 4 10 right now c equals to how much 10 then finally machine is going to predict that what is the what is the prediction model here 
y equals to 4x plus 10 like this okay like by taking the help of statistics machine is going to learn itself and then it is going to predict one program that program here it is y equals to observe here y equals to mx plus c like this okay the machine is going to understand by itself right now once if you okay once if you find the program that it is easy to okay gives the output okay there is 2010 okay good le2 2010 very good right whenever the whenever okay we find the program that is whenever we find the model then it is easy to okay find the output once once check here okay y equal to mx plus c means what it is y equals to okay 4x plus 10 4x plus 10 once observe here okay now y equals to 4 into 1 4 plus 10 40 what the point 4 into 2 8 plus 10 18 right 4 into 3 12 plus 10 22 similarly 4 into 3 12 plus 10 26 and 4 into 5 20 plus 10 30 next year 4 into 500 2000 plus 10 then it is 2010 this okay in this style in this way internally the machine is going to predict itself got the point okay this is about machine learning how the machine is going to understand once i will show one example one of the real time data set once observe here see in a simple dummy data sets what we are created okay in that it is very hard okay to find the predictive model to find the output but see this is a real time data set real time data set this is belongs to a cancer okay cancer data patients data here it is id it is a diagnosis m means is a malignant data and here b is a benignum benignum cells malignant cells uh, means it belongs to life sciences okay in our course we are going to do some mini projects and some main projects real time projects on real time data right this m is a malignant cells means which harmful to the okay harmful cells cancer cells benignum cells are okay not harmful cells okay uh, no, no need to worry about this b but m is okay when the patient is having m okay then then it is okay harmful now okay these are all the different parameters that we have based on all these values okay then the result is whether the patient is having okay uh, harmful cells or not harmful cells or not see just observing 10 20 30 only it is very hard to find about what is a 500 right by reading all these by finding the okay distance between all these values then how as a human we are going to okay predict whether the patient is having a harmful cells cancer cells or not from human side it is very hard right so that's why okay we are using machine okay for the machine we are giving ability okay how we are going to give ability first we are going to give the okay input as all these parameters all these values these are all life sciences related to blood values okay blood cells okay something okay based on the okay this is the output this diabetes is the output okay first we will give this all these as input and then we will give this as output the machine is going to understand what is happening in between input and output right whenever the radius meter is 17.99 texture meter is 